Hey there! In this video, we compare the lane-based and laneless modes on a two-lane highway with no line markings and on a road with temporary roadway barricades. In my last video, we went over the new laneless feature that came out in the recent update. I recommend you check that one out first to get caught up to speed. The link to watch that video is here in the upper right of the screen if you haven't seen that one yet. According to Comma AI, there are several driving environments that can impact the performance of the Open Pilot automated lane centering mode, some of which can cause it to be unable to function as intended. One such situation is driving in direct or bright sunlight. Another is driving in road construction and maintenance zones. Today, we're going to take Open Pilot for a spin and put these limits to the test. Respecting the golden rule of safety first, of course. I'm hands ready at the wheel, ready to take over immediately, and always making sure to be aware of my surroundings. You can see me driving on this two-lane highway using the default lane-based mode. The left lane is blocked with temporary road barricades, and Open Pilot is trying to find any lines on the road, which causes it to start hugging the right side of the road. I have to step in and make some corrections. Making steering corrections in this way does not disengage the system. However, stepping on either pedal or pressing the cancel button will disengage it. Let's fast forward. Now here is a good example of why the driver's attention is always needed. Off to the right, there is a bus stop and a safety curb separating it from traffic. Open Pilot did not detect this in time, and I needed to correct my path in order to not hit the curb. Fast forward again. And now you can see Open Pilot trying to take an exit from the highway. I don't know whether or not this is machine learning causing it to remember my daily commute as I normally take this exit, but now I'm making a correction until it understands I want to drive straight ahead. Now here is the same road, but we are now using the laneless mode. And as you can see, the car is centering much better on the road. I still need to make a few steering adjustments, however. easily passing the same bus stop before where the base mode struggled. If I fast forward a bit, we can see laneless mode struggling with the same problem with the off-ramp here. The car kind of wants to take this exit on the right, but with a few nudges and as soon as it can see that I want to go straight, it follows the path correctly. Okay, now we are approaching the road work zone with open pilot engaged. I need to make the lane change myself. The lane-based mode is focusing on the lane lines and wants to center the car in its lane rather than keep the car more on the left side of the road. To be honest, I would rather drive on these road conditions without open pilot, but take in mind, these are rare conditions. On normal, everyday drives, open pilot is the best thing ever and makes driving much more relaxing. This is the same road, but using the laneless mode. As we approach the roadwork zone, I again must lane change myself. It does work better than the lane-based mode, but I'm still not 100% comfortable being hands-free, because the road barriers are too close to the car, and essentially I need to make steering corrections to not hit road signs. Like always, I am ready to take over. Comma AI has designed Open Pilot in this way to ensure that the vehicle does not alter its trajectory too quickly. This allows the driver to safely react. This means that while the system is engaged, the actuators are constrained to operate within reasonable limits. 
And here we find ourselves at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And please, like and subscribe if you enjoyed our little drive. See you next time on Let It Drive.